Howdy guys, my name is Dylan and welcome to Fishing Trevor Films. Today I'll be showing you um, the gear, what I use at this time of year in winter and uh, my top selection of baits that I'd use in ideal situations that I'd be in during the winter. So of course I'm going to start off with uh, what combos I use. So what I use here, I have a Daiwa Silver Creek Reel. Um, the, the reel, I think it is a 2500 size, perfect, I find that's perfect for trout. If, if I, I've been smaller reels before and I've just been absolutely smoked by fish. This reel has done me so much over this past season. Um, I've caught multiple big fish on this reel. Um, I've got 15 pound braid on there with a 6 pound black magic fluorocarbon leader. And the rod here is a Diver Silver Creek full piece, so you can fit it into a wee travel bag. Um, you can take it really on anything, really. It's such a good light rod, one to three kg, seven foot, and it is ideal for just throwing those light, soft plastics and little egg patterns. And also, what I received in the mail today. Is my new Daiwa, my new Daiwa reel. I cannot wait to test this big, big beast out on snapper and kingfish when I go up to Nelson with the Kiwi Catch. If you don't, if you don't know the Kiwi Catch, uh, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, go check his page out, his Instagram, his Facebook. He he is just awesome. His name is Toby. Feel free to message him about if you want some tips and stuff, I'm sure he will help you out. Now, first thing I'm going to say what you need when you're trout fishing. Everyone needs a pair of these. Polaroid glasses. I find these are just awesome. A pair of Daiwa polarized glasses. I can see everything in the water with these. Helps me so much when you've got that glare going on the water. Put these bad boys on and boom, you are sorted. You can see everything. Not literally everything, but you know where I'm coming from. Uh, my top selection of baits for what I'd use this time of year. Uh, you've got a lot of snow melt coming down in the water, the canals and stuff, and a lot of this time we've had a lot of rain in New Zealand, so rivers are a lot dirty and stuff, so you want to use those brighter colours to get that reaction strike from fish because they're spawning as well. So what I like using this time here is Z-Man. A lot of people on the market, if you have not heard of Z-Man, honestly, I've, I've used these baits for a month. I am utterly impressed. These are honestly so awesome. So stretchy, I had a fish pull it, didn't even break, and the, and the, it was just pulling. I don't know what they're made out of, hang on, I'll tell you. Made out of Elastic Tech or something. I'm not sh too sure how to pronounce it, but I'll show you what I mean by how stretchy they are. This is what I mean by super stretchy. Look at that. That is impressive, isn't it? These are super good and dirty in clear water, and the rainbows absolutely gulp them up. I'd say my favourite soft bait at the market on the moment is probably these. Z-Man Grubs, electric pink, have an awesome movement in the water with them and they're super stretchy. That is what you want in a soft bait and they're super easy to put on a jig head and they really get the fish biking. You really want to have egg flies on you. That's, that's my egg fly collection. These are my egg patterns, this is what I like using. Stuff like this, I have a large variety of Manic Tackle Flies, and also Black Magic. What I look for in colour is obviously I like using the peachy colour ones and uh, kind of resemble like a mango colour. Also the egg clusters, stuff like this. These are really good in using uh, dirtier water like with the snow melt and stuff like this. Black Magic ones, these are nice heavy ones so you can cast them out by themselves. And these ones here these are really good as well. Um, 
split shot, <coughs> I find, is something you really got to have in your um, tackle box because, say for example, I'm egg fishing, I have my sinker on the bottom, up above I have a dropper, you really want to be just lightly bouncing, not sinker hits the bottom and it's getting stuck in the rocks. It's a lot of people uh, get mistaken up there for is having their bait sitting on the bottom. I find the fish love a moving bait because obviously they're fat and lazy and they wait for the bait to come to them, not you find the fish pretty much kind of situation. And these here, they're $11.50, I think they're called gillies. Yeah, gillies. And they're called bass casting sinkers. It's 27 piece, but I find these are perfect for, for what I use. Um, have a large selection of heavy to light, and you can just obviously choose what you want to be fishing. I also fish black magic fluorocarbon. I really like using black magic fluorocarbon leader because it's super strong and it's small in diameter. Last but not least, um, my favourite spoons to be using this time of year are obviously the Daiwa Chinooks and the Daiwa Crusader Lures. The Daiwa Crusader Lures are perfect for what I like using. So a big shout out to my two sponsors who let me represent them and so they put them on social media. It's really, it's a privilege, it's a privilege really. So thank you very much. If you, if you want to learn more um, of what I use um, in summertime or winter, just drop a comment below, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like these, um, leave a like because that'll give me a fair idea of um, how many people actually want to see more videos of what I use and tutorials and stuff like that. I'm really just started getting used to the tutorials and stuff like that, but yeah, I'm quite happy. So thank you very much for watching. And remember, always keep catching those big fish. Cheers guys, see you later.